Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. This is Mr. O and today we're going to talk about something that's a little odd and that would be modeling a building in Fusion 360. So the problem with Fusion 360 is it's not necessarily designed to create buildings. For that you would use a program such as Autodesk Revit and Revit is a BIM program. BIM standing for Building Information Modeling. And what that means is that when you create these drawings of buildings in Revit, it's also tracking a ton of information about walls, windows. Um, you can actually select items from a place like Lowe's in the program, and it will upload that information into your drawing. Uh, so you can click on something and it will give you all of that information, including like a product number and a price. Those are things that you could do. Fusion's not really set up for that, but we can do conceptual designs with it. So what I have here on my screen is actually our workshop that is on our property. And a little bit of history behind this, um, we just gained access to this last week. And what had happened was when we bought our house, part of our concession to the original or the owners we bought it from was that they could use this building for storage. They had quite a lot of stuff. And we allowed them to do that for two years. They just recently moved out. So we finally have this in our possession. Um, some interesting history behind it. This is actually three separate parts, and you can kind of see it here. We have an office in here, we have extended bays, and then we have the original garage. So if I turn those off, um, this was the original building, and this was built in the late 80s, uh, or perhaps the early 80s, I should say. Our house was actually built in the 1960s. And this garage has a poured slab minus this section right here. And it was designed because the gentleman that originally built the house and built this garage was a hot rodder. So he had three or four hot rods that he kept in here. And then, of course, had some workspace. This is approximately 1,000 square feet. And it's probably about 950 square feet in here. Later on, they came back and they added on two additional bays and an office. Now, what's interesting about the office is they poured a slab for the office. And then for the additional bays, they didn't make any changes whatsoever. In other words, they literally built it on top of the existing driveway. So the inside of these two bays is still asphalt driveway. Uh, when you open the door, that's what you see, and then it meets the original opening. So not the greatest design. It's uh, is not flat at all, but it works. Okay. One of the other issues with this building is that the doorways here on the front two bays do not align with the actual original bays. Uh, when you're parking inside, you've got to go in at a little bit of an angle to hit them. Okay, so uh, just things to be aware of. Other things that we've done. Uh, we modeled the trusses that went on top of this, and when I was laying these out in Fusion 360, I quickly discovered that something wasn't lining up. So I went back out to the building and measured, and it's a little tricky to see here, but that's when I discovered that the gentleman who built it didn't have them all on proper centers. So most of these are on 24 inch centers, which is fairly common, but then all of a sudden it jumps to 27 and then 29, 29, 29, and then a weird measurement out to the gable end. Um, that was because their measurements didn't quite hold out to space them. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't remove one or add one in here and keep the spacing. So just things to be aware of, but again, great for concept. I have those accurately spaced on my drawings so I can track these. All right. Now, what we're going to be looking at in here is how you do a conceptual model of a basic building in Fusion 360. It's going to be missing a lot of information, but the important information is still here. So we can still apply some types of appearances. So this is asphalt. This is concrete. I've not applied appearances to any of the walls, but I do have the proper thicknesses there. OK, so we can have that, meaning our dimensions are still accurate. There's just not as much information as you might have in Revit. Um, a few other things that I've been doing on this is adding in modifications. That's why I'm doing this drawing. So now that we have it, we want to add a divider wall inside of here and close this bay off. And what that's going to be is where our garden tractor and our extra fuel cans and other things are going to be stored. I don't really want liquid fuel cans in the main area because eventually there will be welding and other things going on in here. And then the other thing we want to do is you'll notice that the office has this giant double doorway in here. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but I would like to change that down to a regular 36 inch door. So we've modeled in an adjustment and don't mind the colors. It's just to show the difference uh, to set that door in there. 
And this is still going to be an office area, but I'd like to close it off. And eventually we'll probably pop a window in the side here. So if you move on to the next tutorials, I'm going to talk you through how to do some basic modeling in Fusion 360. And it's actually quite simple to do so that you can set up a basic floor plan for a building. So I'll see you over there.